going to take a live look outside. I'm going to show you a couple different cameras. Uh, first, we'll show you what's happening here in Southfield. So this is from our studios in Southfield. Uh, I would like to take you, though, to Mount Clemens again, because this is an area that is right on the cusp of dealing with some pretty strong storms. It, it, they look similar, these two camera shots, but Mount Clemens weather is significantly uh, more dangerous than what's going on in uh, yeah, Southfield, and here's why. You take a look at Sky Tracker. So the Mount Clemens camera, it's like right about here-ish, so right along 94, and you can see all those thunderstorms right around it. Now, these storms are strong. They are not severe. What is the difference there? Well, severe storms have to fit certain criteria. Hail has to be a certain size. Winds have to be over 60 miles an hour. We are no longer seeing that criteria. However, we are still seeing some pretty strong winds. We're looking at about 40, maybe 45 miles an hour. And there is some hail here, but it is not large enough to, uh, to spark those warnings. From Macomb through New Baltimore, down through Harrison, uh, Sterling Heights to Mount Clemens, it's going to start picking up. So that camera that you just saw is going to get a lot more active in the next probably 10 to 15 minutes. This is where all the storms are, guys. It's in Macomb County. It's in parts of uh, eastern Oakland County. You'll see them dropping down there from the north as well, Genesee, Lapeer County. So there's, there's active weather out there, and there's a threat that we could see more active weather as we move through the day. But the question is going to be, where does it all set up? So so right now, a lot of it kind of clipping areas in the thumb and down to the south. But more of that moisture driving over to our east. And that is an important detail because as we look ahead, uh, using Fox Futurecast, which we will in a second, it looks like a lot of that active weather may run just to our east into northern Ohio, perhaps impact packed in areas around Cleveland and staying that way. That would be a better case scenario for us. Otherwise, we're going to be right in line for it. So we'll set it into motion. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So Cleveland region could be seeing kind of the brunt of it as these storms really rile up later this afternoon at 3.30. There is a chance that we may avoid most of that active weather through the afternoon. Then moving overnight, we could see more of it spark up as those storms continue to billow. But the truth is, there's a lot of question marks with these storms because they could center right over top of us. There's a lot of atmospheric dynamics at play here. There's a thing called the atmospheric cap. And if you picture like a pot of boiling water, that is a cap on top of that boiling water. Well, if you remove the cap, all of it explodes up, and that is generally what sparks those thunderstorms, but you have to lift the cap up. There's a chance that maybe today we won't. So that's the uncertainty there, but I would say you want to plan for it. 60 mile an hour winds with that large hail and even the threat of an isolated tornado is a possibility. For the most part, though, high winds and hail are the two big culprits as we move through the day today. Humidity is going to be a huge factor in the forecast today and tomorrow. It's already starting to build. It's going to get really, really humid as we head into the afternoon hours. I think more Thursday than today. But interestingly enough, if you live in... Uh, uh, Howell, if you live in uh, Ann Arbor, your heat index today is going to be close to 98. Ooh. Our heat index in the city of Detroit, areas in Southfield, Mount Clemens, Macomb, uh, it's going to be like 85. Oh. So it's a huge spread for yes. today. Areas out west will be a lot hotter. Tomorrow, there's no avoiding it. We're all going to see it.